Well, I used to live in Hollywood. Holly, weird. Oh, Tinsel Town. <laughs> that vast mecca of American show business. And one of the unique things about living in Hollywood is that there's this job that you can get out there which requires absolutely no prior work history whatsoever. And no level of education is required either. You don't even know, have to know how to spell your own name. And yes, you can have a job standing on a street corner, hawking maps to the stars' homes all day. <laughs> it's a fixture in Hollywood. If you drive down Hollywood Boulevard or Sunset Boulevard, you'll always see them. They're always out there every single day of the week. First, you'll see this little four-foot-high sandwich board sign that says, Maps to the stars' homes and big block letters spangled with little spangly stars. Next, you'll see some crazy looking kook standing a few feet behind the sign, waving the map itself like some old time carnival barker. I, I, I know. How, how much is it, right? I don't know. <laughs> At this stage of the game, back in my day, it was $10, $15. These days, I'll bet it's $25, $30, maybe pushing $40, $45. Yeah, that much. People buy them. That's why. But that's not what I wanted to tell you. What I wanted to tell you is, is that now probably the most visited home on the map is, are you ready? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, here it is. Well, fanfare first. Da, 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 da. The Clampett residence. Yep. Right. The Beverly Hillbillies. Jed and Granny. Mr. Drysdale. It's a real home. It's located just off Sunset Boulevard, right as you get out of town from Hollywood. You buy the map, you go down Sunset Boulevard, bam, there's your, there, you take your first left. There it is. <laughs> now, the production company which had rented that gorgeous Beverly Hills mansion in order to shoot all those episodes of our favorite mountaineer has packed up and split. Long time passing. It's been many more than just 45 years. But the new owners, and it is one of the most bought and sold and bought and sold and bought and sold and bought and sold and bought and sold properties registered in Los Angeles County. So the new owners are surprised. Yep, <coughs> excuse me, once again, that when they get up to go answer the front doorbell on an obscure Tuesday morning or whatever, excuse me, only to find a gaggle of tourists standing there on the front stoop with their cars parked right there. And they want to know if Jed's home.
Now, wait a minute. Perhaps they're only joking. After all, a little humor would go a long way in a suddenly tension-filled situation like that, don't you think? And wait a minute, maybe, maybe, they're fishing. Like, the new owners are going to be tickled pink and invite them all in for a personally guided tour with refreshments at the end. But the real Lulu heads are the ones who show up at that gorgeous Beverly Hills mansion on an obscure Tuesday morning or whatever. And they want to see Granny. And Jethro. And Ellie Mae. For real. It's what I call the Hollywood Gullibility Index. It's the measure of just how easily taken in you are. <laughs> On the one end of the spectrum, we have the ultimate shrewdy. Spots everything. Every trick, every lie, every con can't be fooled. No how, no way, never. On to other end of the spectrum, we have what I call the Holy cow, these people need protection group. These would include the whack of doodles who show up at that gorgeous Beverly Hills mansion after having spent hard-earned good cash money in order to purchase a map to the stars' homes. And they want to see Granny. And Jethro. Ellie May and the Cement Pond for real. Where uh, are you on the the Hollywood gullibility index, huh? Where would you fit in?